Hey guys, check it out. We just got a huge delivery. I'm gonna go get Carly. Let's see what's inside. All right, Carly, so what was in the first box? In the first box, we got um, new hides. This one we actually didn't get, uh, but just for size comparison, we have it. Um, so this one um, actually, bubble, not bubbles, uh, Peanut and Kalahari and Angel are in this one, in mm -hmm. their tubs. Um, we have these ones, uh, Peanut, um, not Peanut, Bubbles <laughs> and Cal, uh, Bubbles and Cutie are in these uh, hides right now. And now we, and then last we have these bigger hides. Well, why would we need bigger hides? Because we got a bigger tub and rack. <laughs> we <laughs> did, didn't we? So those are big, big tubs and racks. So guys, this is actually a CB70 series uh, tub. So it's a 41, uh, 41 quart tub, I believe. These are actually from Freedom Breeder. They actually have the, uh, you can see they have the cup holder for the, uh, the water there. I actually do like the Freedom Breeder tubs a little bit better than the ARS tubs. Uh, first off, because they do the semi-clear, so I really like the semi-clear. It, it does give the uh, ball pythons a uh, day and night cycle kind of resemblance, right? But this cup itself is is set back a little bit further in the tub. So the, the ARS ones are a little closer. Doesn't give you as much room up here in the front. So I really like how those are a little bit more, uh, um, not necessarily centered, but just pushed away from the front. And then the reason we got the tubs is because we got our new Vivarium Electronics 70 series rack so this has it is big right so it's got the different levels the sides we've got our little package there with instructions but who needs instructions we've already done this. that's right and the uh and the heat tape so uh we're gonna actually build this rack today and uh so what we'll do i don't think we'll film the the uh entire thing let me flip this around here <laughs> so i don't think we'll build the entire thing uh, on film. What we'll do is I'm gonna lay it out, kind of show you all the pieces, and then uh, tell you what we're gonna do. We'll do that, and then we'll come back and kind of um, uh, kind of show you the progress as it goes until we're completely done. So uh, so stick around. Let's see uh, let's see how we, how we uh, build this. Here we are. So we have got all the pieces laid out here. So I'm gonna kind of run you through um, exactly what we have here. So we've got two side pieces here. So you've got this one, and you've got that one. Now you'll notice the side pieces have the grooves right here. You can see the little holes for uh, for all the screws. And then they've got the uh, the openings there and when you get it all put together, that's kind of how you insert your heat tape, okay? You'll notice that they've got the little feet both here and then it's got a cutout on the top. So this is the top of it when it stands like this. These are stackable. And so the bottom of one rack here would fit into the top of the next rack there, okay? We'll actually show you that when we move this down to the reptile room. Um, the, the two that we currently have that uh, the snakes are in, they snack on, stack on each other and we'll show you that. These here are the shelves, okay? So some really cool things about these shelves. So first and foremost, well, let's start at the front. They've got this little lip here. So that's gonna actually hit the front side of, of the, uh, the sides. So you know that's lined up properly. See, so that's right there. It's on all of them. You've got the, they, they route this out um, on each one. So this is where the heat tape actually goes. And if you can see in there, there's actually a little slot that it actually slides into. So you actually slide it through from here to here, run it down, and, and we'll show you when we get there. Then that's your probe cutout. So you can actually put your wire in there um, with your probe on it, and that alleviates any stress of it wanting to kind of pull back out the back. So uh, really, really cool features. The only last thing on these shelves is you got to make sure there is a true bottom shelf. So one of the shelves has this little notch here and the little notch there. So that why that is the true bottom is if you ever wanted to put this on casters, uh, that is how the casters, they, the little caster would insert here and you would screw in. And so that is why that is the true bottom. You can see these others are just the intermediate shelves that don't have it. Then uh, there's the other side, there's the back with the heat tape. And then this one is ultimately the top. And so that's how all that fits together. So Carly, pull that one up. So first thing we're gonna do, all of them have this plastic on the side. Yeah, go ahead and pull that. See how that pulls off there? So all of them on one side have this plastic. So the first thing is, 
We're gonna rip off all the plastic. We're gonna get some F10. We're gonna wipe everything down so that it's nice and clean and sterile. And then uh, when we have that done, I'll come back and kind of tell you what our process to, uh, to assemble is gonna look like. All right, guys, so we've got everything. We got all the plastic pulled off right there and everything has been wiped down on both sides with uh, F10 solution. One of the things to note, guys, everywhere that there's kind of a cutout, so whether it's that, whether it's these, um, use a very dry paper towel because it tends to catch. You can see kind of, it's a little bit kind of more of a rougher cut. So if it's a wet paper towel, it kind of rips the paper towel in, in, uh, in half, so. All right, so they've tried to make this as dummy proof as possible. So let's take a look at one of the sides here. So this will be the side, obviously, that kind of stands up like this, right? They make it very simple. Top B, the back. Top B, top A. Here's the other side, top A. So those will stand up, and obviously the back will stand up, and those will go together. The shelves just slide into these little grooves. You got one, two, three shelves. One, two, three shelves for the grooves. And then obviously you've got the top over there, and that sits on the very top. So, kind of order of operation here. I think what I'm gonna do, the, I, I kinda, I, I don't know, the, what the instructions say to do is stand up both sides, stand up the back, and screw those together, then slide the shelves in. Um, here's the only issue I see with that. If we do it that way, I think that's gonna make it harder to thread the heat tape through with the back on. I think what I'm gonna instead do is I'm gonna take the side and I'm gonna see if I can put the bottom shelf, which will be this one, and the top shelf, which will be that one, together and in, in essence make a box, right? Then we'll slide the center shelf in, screw all that down, and see how that goes. Now, that may be harder to do on the floor, so I may move back over to the table to do that, but uh, that's gonna be what I think I'm gonna try first. So we'll try that and uh, we'll show you where we're at here we go. So we actually decided to follow the instructions. <laughs> Who knew that they actually knew what they were talking about? So what the instructions that basically said was start with the back and one of the sides. You're going to screw. You can see there's one, two, three screws there. And that actually works out really well because then it stands up on its own for us to come over and do the other side. One, two, three screws, right? So then ultimately what you, what you wind up with is this open box. So we went ahead and slid the bottom shelf in. So what, what the next step now is, so we slid the very bottom shelf in. Remember the bottom shelf is right here. They've got the little notches out. And then be very sure that you have your heat tape recess pointed up. You don't wanna put, put that pointed down. So now we connect the bottom shelf, the second shelf, and the third shelf, but we're gonna leave the top off because we're gonna, we're gonna put our um, heat tape on before we put the top off. Or I'm sorry, uh, heat tape on before we put the top on. So what we have now, you've got five screws going down the side of each shelf. So we'll do five on each side for each shelf and we'll come back. All right guys, so here we go. So we have got obviously the sides, the back and the three shelves in. So you can see there's one, two, three. Carly, grab one of those uh, 70 tubs over there. Let's see how it slides. So it's always a good idea guys to uh, go ahead and do that. So the only thing we haven't actually done yet is the back of the shelves. We've done the side of the shelves, but not the back. See how it slides in there, Carly. <laughs> it's a little big for you. No, in, in one of the slots, baby. There we go. Slides in nice and easy. There we go. Slides out nice and easy. Yep. Perfect. All right. So the next step, guys, is the heat tape. Now, this is the part I'm not really sure about. So obviously, when we start, you can see there under the A, that's where your cord for your heat tape will come out. So we'll start coming through this way. So we'll feed the heat tape through here. It'll go down. It'll go to the, it'll go down to the second shelf here where we've got the tub. You can see. So then we'll feed it from there back over this way and then down and back there. And that's where it'll end. So we'll feed all the way through get it all the way down here. This is where I thought having the back off would probably be beneficial, um, but we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and start the heat tape up and uh, and we will just... One of the things I for, uh, forgot to mention before you get started with the heat tape, so we've actually got it plugged in. You can see this is how it is connected. Um, so it's got the two metal grommets down there that puncture through the heat tape. They've got electrical tape uh, or aluminum tape over the top of it. Um, and so you plug it in 
and you just give it a test. Let's just make sure. 105, so it's definitely going up. So Carly, let's just shoot the table real quick so we can just prove it's not 105 in our house. So 74, back over here, let's shoot this part over here with this heat tape, Carly. 102, so obviously guys, our heat tape is working. So uh, we'll unplug it. All right, guys, so we have success. So just kind of give you an update of how we did this. So fed the heat tape through this little hole on the outside right there okay so you feed it through there you feed it all the way through um, until the end kind of comes through right where it's connected here you pull that through you put your cord through the big hole here right it's got that little relief right there and then i tape this down with just a few pieces of electrical tape a couple eight inch pieces to get my cord all the way another little kind of four inch piece here just to ensure that it's that it's nice and secure there so that keeps the heat tape secure it comes feeds through the back here and then i just put another little piece of tape right here just to relieve some more stress i got a little slack right there and there's my cord all right so then you feed through this hole so you can see that heat tape going through it goes down down the side right there you can see it going along the back through that hole right there comes down and you can see there's a lot of excess. <clears throat> so they actually give you quite a bit of excess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed that through. It's already fed through. You can barely see it back there, but it's already fed through all the way to the end and I've got that much excess. I'm gonna feed through and just have it go to the bottom. I'm gonna flip it over and then just cut off what we don't need. So it was actually pretty easy to put together um, all in all and, and feed that through. So um, one of the things I'm gonna show you before we put the top on is, uh, let's see here. A couple of the reasons why I really like this rack. So if you take a look here, so when we look at how this is set up, you can see the heat tape itself is recessed about not quite seven inches from the back. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see that. <laughs> not quite seven inches from the back and then it's three inch long heat tape, okay? So that gives the snakes uh, an area in the back they can actually get to with a different temperature zone. So ultimately, that uh, it just gives different, uh, I, I like them being able to be in the back and be warm without being directly on the hot spot if they, if they don't wanna do that. Then of course they have all the space up here. So um, all in all, pretty easy to put together guys. So I'm gonna put the top on. All right guys, here is the finished product. We got it down here in the snake room. You can see we moved and stacked those two racks back on top of it, each other like they were. So you can see kind of how those, that foot or that little lip right here, how they fit in together. That's how it would fit over here if we were to stack them. You can see kind of right here, there's the, the bottom piece and then the foot down there at the bottom would fit in too. Uh, I'll tell you guys, went together pretty easily. Um, they gave us a bunch of extra screws, so probably at least double the screws that you need. You get, you get a little bit, it is a little four, uh, or a little square kind of hex bit. Um, so they send that with the, with the screws for you. Uh, this is the, the actual heat tape that I cut off. So they give you plenty of heat tape to make sure you can make the full run down through, um, down through all the levels. So as you can see right here, guys, slide in nice and easy. So there's one there with the, uh, with the cup. We did get a couple that do not have the cup. So just, uh, just for uh, uh, some variety there, just in case we don't want, uh, don't want to have that. And then, uh, of course, here's the top rack. Again, another one with a cup there. So we don't have anything yet. I've got it, uh, I've got it uh, warming up right now. So as you can see, I actually just used the thermostat that we had for the quarantine rack when we had it. That's that top one there, the Herbstat 1. Uh, the Herbstat 2 is actually uh, controlling these two. So the top rack and the bottom rack, that's what the Herbstat 2 is controlling. But uh, all in all, guys, um, really uh, not too bad at all. Let me swing this around here. So uh, yeah, not too bad at all. Took about um, an hour and a half, but that was with filming and, and all of that. And so uh, probably, uh, quite honestly, if I was just putting it together um, by itself, I don't know, probably take me maybe about 45 minutes. It really went together really, really easily. Um, so yeah, so it uh, again, just really couldn't be happier with this, this version of racks. Um, I think the VEs are going to be definitely what we uh, what we continue to have here at uh, CNC Reptiles. So, uh, guys, appreciate you coming along, and uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.